the empirical rule, which is the 68, 95, 99.7 rule. If a distribution is unimodal and symmetric, meaning that it's bell-shaped, then the following statements are true. Approximately 68% of the observations will lie within one standard deviation of the mean. So approximately 68% of the observations will lie between x bar, which is the sample mean, minus the sample standard deviation, and x bar, which is the sample mean, plus the sample standard deviation. So that means it's one standard deviation. So let's take a look at this bell curve. So here is our bell curve. Okay, and then what I want you to notice is that this x bar minus one standard deviation and x bar plus one standard deviation lies within these walls. And then what I want you to notice is that it's 34% on this side, on the left side. So we can see here that we have 34%. So one standard deviation from the mean is 34% plus 34%, which gives us 68%. So it's one standard deviation to the left and one standard deviation to the right which gives us 68%. And again, that gives us the 68% of the observation that lies within one standard deviation. Next, approximately 95% of the observation will lie within two standard deviations of the mean. So approximately 95% of the observations will lie between X bar mean, the sample mean, minus two times the sample standard deviation and X bar plus two times the sample standard deviation. So let's take a look at that scenario here. So here you can see this is where we have x bar minus 2 times the standard deviation. And over here this is x bar plus 2 times the standard deviation. So that means everything in here and here represents two standard deviations from the mean. So let's go ahead and add those up to see what we get. So we already know that we have 68%, but let's just add 13.5% plus 34% plus 34% plus 13.5%. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that on a calculator real quick here. So we know we have 68 already, so we have 34 plus 34 plus 13.5 plus 13.5, which gives us 95. And now that verifies here, stating that approximately 95% of the observations will lie within two standard deviations of the mean. Lastly, it says approximately 99.7% of the observations will lie within three standard deviations of the mean. So approximately 99.7% of the observations will lie between x bar minus three times the standard deviation and x bar plus three times the standard deviation. So let's take a look at that. So here you can see we have x bar minus three times the st standard deviation. And over here, this is x bar plus 3 times the standard deviation. So that means everything from here and here is going to represent everything that is 3 standard deviations from the mean.
So we have two point three five per cent plus thirteen point five per cent plus thirty four per cent plus thirty four per cent plus thirteen point five per cent plus two point three five per cent which gives us ninety nine point seven per cent and that falls within three standard deviations. And then I want you to notice the last thing that we have is 0.15% that's remaining over here, and then 0.5% over here. So that represents the outliers. So if we add that 0.15% and that 0.15% to 99.7%, then that would give us a full 100%. So again, this is a graphical representation of the empirical rule for 68, 95, 99.7. And again, the statement is true when it's a bell-shaped, unimodal, and symmetric. So in addition to the bell-shaped, unimodal, and symmetric, we also need to talk about uh, usual and unusual observations. So I'm going to bring this in here. It says unusual observations. Um, a key part of statistics is determining whether an observation is unusual. This is especially helpful when using hypothesis testing, which you will learn about in your next statistics class. But how do we decide if an observation is unusual? If a distribution is unimodal and symmetric, the answers lies with the empirical rule, which states that 95% of the observations are within two standard deviations of the mean. This means that only 5% of the observations are more than two standard deviations away from the mean. So if an observation is more than two standard deviations away from the mean, we refer to the observation as unusual. So let's go ahead and highlight that. So what does that mean according to our bell curve? Well, we know that starting from here to there would represent usual because those are within two standard deviations above and below the mean. Whereas here would be considered unusual and also here on the right that would be uh, unusual as well. So again if an observation is more than two standard deviations away from the mean whether it's on the left or the right then we refer to the observation as unusual.